that's a view too oh this chair is so squeaky speaking of squeaky oh my god we caught a mouse or a rat ah fuck oh my god look at him oh he's kind of cute remy boys dude it's remy from ratatouille anyway so before this vlog gets started i just wanted to talk a little bit about how I haven't posted in a while. Not that anyone really cares, but I just wanted to speak a little bit about um, my anxiety, I guess. I mean, like most teenagers, it is self-diagnosed, but I am a perfectionist. And although it may not seem like it, like with my messy hair and messy life, if something's not perfect, I don't want to be responsible for it. Like. In high school, I wouldn't do my homework because, unless I could do all of it, which I was way too lazy to do. So I just never did my homework. I'd rather take a zero than like a 30%. I'm always thinking perfection over progress and that's so unhealthy, but that's how I am with my videos too. So if I make something and I'm not proud of it, I will not post it no matter what, no matter how many hours I put into it. It just doesn't matter. And um. I'm trying to change that. So starting right here, uh, this is just some footage I've shot while I was, you know, taking care of myself, I guess, these past few weeks. It's not really a little montage, it's like one and a half days, but you know, just just to get something out there, just to like prove to myself that I can do this, like make it symbolic and post this video that I know will make me cringe, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So, here we go. <sighs> oh, and uh, I should be posting videos daily starting now. And I leave to Vietnam in seven days. So, this is perfect timing. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks. Look at these fucking bugs. Fuck you, bugs. They're hookahing. Who the hell do they think they are? Look at this bug. Oh. Am I <laughs> so it's like 7 in the morning and the last time I made a vlog I woke up at like 2 or 3 in the afternoon so I guess you can say life is getting pretty good um, that was my friend drunk as hell in Vietnam where I should be right now but it's okay I'm just I'm, I'm still having a good time you know downloading MapleStory right now so this should be fun Okay, so since I made a new account, they gave me like a default name and it's Confident Soup. I think I'm gonna keep it. Wow, this morning just keeps on getting better and better. Well, that was really short lived. <laughs> Essentials. Oh. So I'm late, but We get it, you graduated. <laughs> Open the door, whore. for our mom. <laughs> Wherever you go, I'm going with your bae, going with your bae. When I'm in my stool, I definitely wouldn't miss a thing. When you rest on your own and you're wondering if I'm following. When I bought Nintendogs, I... I tried to name it and it wouldn't accept my name. I wanted to name my dog Shadow and it wouldn't accept, so I just I just never played again. Excuse me. Oh, dude, you can't come in. <laughs> I just I just wanted to show how we're at the beach and we're covered. Welcome to my towel. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a blanket? Yeah. You brought a blanket. Bro, I'm prepared.
California is so pretty. Damn, don't you ever just sit in a place like so perfect for like a deep conversation? You want to have a deep conversation with me? So, have you ever done anal? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. First one there is a rotten egg. They're a rotten egg. Jesus, is that you? Yo, for real, look how pretty this is though. Vlogging is such a weird concept to me. It's like you're living, but at the same time, you have to announce you're living. And I'm a very like live in the moment type of person, you know? The first thing I think about when I do something is not like, oh, press record. It's just like, oh, have fun doing it. Life is short, YOLO, that type of thing. Like, I don't know, I was just thinking about it earlier. I don't think you realize things until they're taken away from you, like freedom. Like now all I worry about is making sure it's on camera and stuff. So when I took like a little break from vlogging, it made me realize like, wow, life is really good and simple and easily lived and I'm gonna have fun whether people see it or not. It's not that serious. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just- <gasps> Oh my god, fuck! <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that little rant. Yeah, here are some clips of me dancing terribly. Suavemente, besame. Que quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez suavemente besame que quiero sentir tus labios besándome otra vez suave besame besame suave besame otra vez suave. yo quiero sentir tus labios suave. besándome otra vez suave. Suave. All right my camera is really nice in low light but it's actually pretty dark right now and um I just wanted to say that I'm going to miss like being able to just walk on the street and not worried about getting mugged. You know what I mean? What? Because oh, yeah. Vietnam, I can't have a pretty view like this without, and like just like, you know, relax and enjoy it without like worrying about getting this camera like ripped out of my hands. So when I went to Vietnam when I was little, my mom took out my earrings because I heard that they'll come up to you and just rip out anything that looks like a diamond. So they don't do that in Mexico. They'll rip out your nose rings. <laughs> oh my God. I think the next five months is gonna be very interesting. <laughs> no, but like, dude, look, I would not even have this drink anymore. I know it looks it looks nasty, a seagull spilled it, but I wouldn't even have this drink anymore because someone would literally come up and rip it out of my hands. Actually, I'm not even sure because that's just what I hear. I hear people like get mugged all the time in Vietnam and stuff, but I don't know that because I've never, well, I was like born there, but I've never really been, so. I don't know, I, I feel like it's not as bad as people say it is, but I guess we're gonna find out. Like, look, we just walked from here all the way to the pier, and we just left our stuff out in the open, and not a thing is missing. But in Vietnam, if I like take two steps over here, like, I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? Um, no one's gonna steal from me but I would leave my sandals at the beach. Ugh. I, I stole from myself. 